welcome back to my youtube channel it's nisha rogers here and as you can tell by today's title we're going to be doing a review of the pretty little thing fold over flare trousers this is a new thing that skims introduced actually no it's a thing that they brought back because i remember a while ago they did like a hot pink set and then that sold out really quickly so this is a new thing that they brought back on their website so today we're going to be looking at the quality we're going to be looking at the fit we're going to be looking at the length we're going to be getting down to like the nitty gritty to see whether it's actually worth you spending your money on the pretty little thing ones or you should just invest in the skims so before we get into the video and trying things on please like comment subscribe and share and yeah let's not waste any more time so i picked up five different colors I don't remember if this is all the colours they had or just the ones that I liked. But nevertheless, there's still some options so you guys can kind of see. I tried to match them with the ones on the Skims website. So um, I don't remember if they had a white one, but I saw the white one. I was like, okay, like if this is a really good quality, this would be something good to have in my wardrobe. But yeah, let's open. We'll start with the white one in fact, actually. And let's just see how the fit is. And then we'll try on the rest of the colours. So yeah, I'll be back. Um... Yeah, no. This, first of all, there's bagginess here. And I didn't think it was going to be like an asymmetric thing. But um, it looks kind of asymmetric. I don't know if that's just my eyes being like dodgy or it actually shows up on camera. But yeah, no, like 100%. Like from now, I'm telling you, size down. And it's like kind of big in the waist-ish. Like I pre prefer things to be more fit in. And I low-key wish these were like low waisted because let me pull them down a bit so you guys can see if you guys can get like the vision of how it would be if it was like low waisted with like a cute top like this. But anyways, yeah, like they're not see-through, I'll give them that, but definitely size down like it's quite big. But yeah, like this is the back if you guys can see properly, like you can see the bagginess of it all. But still, because it, as I said, it's not see-through, but I would say don't take the risk wearing bright coloured underwear. Just keep it to like a nude underwear or plain black underwear. But yeah, guys, this is, it would have been cute if I sized down maybe and if it was a bit more low-waisted. But let me put on the other colours. We're not going to completely dismiss it yet. And let's see if it's different because I think the rest of them I sized down in a size 4. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I have the grey ones and I think we can both tell that this is a much better fit. I like it so i definitely advise to size down but one thing you should know that if you do size down there's a, obviously a lot less stretch than if you start to a normal size but as for length as i mentioned i'm five foot i'll put a side like long video of me so you can see the length but yeah i'm five foot and i don't feel like these are excessively long like if i put on some platform boots or like mini uggs with it or platform trainers yeah these would be fine for me to wear out and they won't be like dragging on the ground again i think it's because i am shorter which is why it comes up a lot longer but just imagine if it was a bit more low-waisted with like this long line top this is also from pretty little thing if you want to learn more of it more about the deets you can go on to my channel and you can see the review that i did on them but yeah it'd be so cute again if you're really committed like that if you were really good at sewing then you could probably like hem it yourself and change things to make it low waisted but if you don't want to do that then you can go to a tailor and get them made low waisted but these are very cute like so far much better than the white ones let me just double check that these are all in size four yeah the what color this mushroom they call it is in a size four the black is in a size four and the chocolate brown ones are in a size four so yeah let me get the other colors on and then we can see oh yeah i didn't show you the back let me show you let me pull these up so it's a bit more accurate but yeah this is just the back of it very figure hugging Love. so these are the mushroom color ones on this is on a size four i find it so fascinating with pretty little thing especially because i notice this a lot with them the sizing is i mean yeah the sizing is always different these are much more stretchier than the size 4 grey ones that I just tried on. And there's still like some, a bit more room rather than with the grey ones. There was a lot less room, it was more hugging. Or oh, like I feel like this is how a size 6 would have fit on me if it wasn't big. So again, maybe it just kind of varies. But I would still say stick to sizing down. 
um again with the length it's not too bad i'll put it side by side so you guys can see let me show you the back of them yeah i feel like this color is very nice it kind of gives gray a little in some lightings maybe maybe not do you guys see it but again like it's it's so cute for winter if you put on like a knitted um zip up hoodie or like a normal hoodie or like a long sleeve top you were just gonna run some errands and like your mini ugg boots very cute guys um so let me try on the black ones and then we'll try on the chocolate brown ones i thought the black ones were good because i have the black sculpted top on as well but I don't know what was going on here. Maybe the person that returned this decided to tape the packaging together. But I yeah, I just said many it. times on this channel before, it's just so hard to mess up black clothing. Like this is really nice, and I think it maybe was just a thing with the grey ones because the grey ones are more of a legging material, so they don't have as much stretch as the black one and the mushroom color that I just tried on. But these are very nice, especially with the top. Like it's giving. I love a matching set, especially when it comes to the fall season or winter season. And especially when I'm going to uni or I'm running some errands, like it's just nice to have a matching set because it makes you appear more put together than you probably are feeling. And my favorite thing to say is like, if you look good, you feel good. So these are very cute. I don't know if you can really see the detailing just because it is against a black thing, but let me pull it slightly up so you guys can see. And you can also see how high it comes up on me as well these oh my gosh the mushroom color was slightly longer the black ones aren't that long on and again i'm five foot so just be cautious of that again look at the measurements of the items before buying but guys no can you just imagine if this was my waisted let me kind of pull it down so you guys can see the vision if they were low waisted if these were low waisted with some cute trainers or like the Ugg slippers or just any cute shoe really like a tennis shoe sort of vibe maybe because i'm just so inspired by like the early 2000s fashion i just love a low-waisted fit and i feel like it flatters my body shape just because i don't have a long torso so i do appeal i do feel like it's more appealing when there's like some bit of my stomach showing so it's like ah where is her torso gone you know what i mean but the, the back ones, I don't really have anything bad to say about them. Like, let me show you the back as well, because I remember I didn't do that. I love, and these are in a size 4, if I didn't mention that before. So um, I would say just size down, apart from the grey ones, don't size down. But everything else, you can size down. So the last one I have is the chocolate brown ones. Let's try them on. I was excited about these the most, actually. I think this is the first one that I saw on the website. And then when I went to click on it and I saw that they had other colours, I was like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of the Skims ones. But let's try these on. And I know they do have the chocolate ones on the Skims website. So I'll be back. Okay, last but not least, these are the chocolate brown ones on. Maybe it's because it's been paired with the black top, but I'm not really feeling it. So maybe if I had on like a white top or a matching brown top or something that goes a bit more with brown, I would be feeling different. But like, let's take the top away. It is very cute, like, and you can see, um, like, the fold over a bit more with this one, and you can see how it comes up a bit more on me in these. And, yeah, again, these are in a size 4. The length isn't too long on me, so I could get away with, even if I wasn't to wear a platform shoe, they would be fine. I'm 5 foot again for reference. So let me just show you the back of them so you guys can see the fold over. Yeah, and they're stretchy. There's still some room to move. Yeah, they're definitely much more stretchier than the grey ones. So I think it is just the grey ones that you should stick to a normal size. You could get away with sizing down, but you can stick to a normal size in that one. Whereas with the other ones, there's a bit more stretch. So I would advise to size down if you want a more hugging fit. But yeah, guys, overall, if I was to rate all of them, I'd give them an 8. They're not bad, but they're not great. And I kind of do wish that the bottoms, I mean... The waist bit is adjustable like even if the skims ones aren't adjustable i would probably give them the same rating even though it is skims just because i do like the option of having them like low waisted or mid-rise high-rise sort of vibe but yeah they're not bad i would say if you guys are comp contemplating getting these or the skims ones i'd probably say just get these ones if the skims ones aren't waist adjustable because you can obviously 
adjust it's good to have that option or maybe you could just kind of cut the stitching bit here and pull it up but then again it will look unflattering with this so guys this is the end of the video if you enjoyed what i posted today can you please like comment subscribe and share it'd be good to know what other videos you guys would like to see from me if there's any other dupes that you guys would like me to find and um as i said i post more fashion and lifestyle content so there'll be more videos coming soon i'm gonna try and stay consistent Consistent. I may not be posting for a while just because the next couple of months are going to be kind of busy for me but we will see I'm not going to starve you guys of content and I'll see you in my next video bye